Alright, Dave here with another exciting tutorial talking about LODs, what they are, how to set them up in Maya, why they're important, and even what it does it mean. So, um, LOD is basically level of detail, and I can see right here, edit, um, under the edit menu in Maya, there's something LOD, and then it says level of detail, and then it says uh, create LOD group, mesh, and ungroup LOD group, okay? so. Let's kind of talk about that. Now before I jump into that, I want to show it kind of an action in a, in a game, okay, or in Game Engine. So I have Unreal Game Engine right here, and if I look at this rock, okay, I have the uh, Australia scene. This is a free download um, in the Epic Games Store, but if I zoom up on this rock, okay, I can see that it's super, super detailed. And if I look really close, I could probably see some ants crawling on it and things like that. But if I zoom out, okay, so if I zoom back, um, if they had all that detail of the ants, let's say, crawling around and all the little pores of the rock, it would just be kind of overkill, especially when I get, like, back this far. Um, the fact that that rock would have that much detail. So to visualize this, if I zoom up back on this rock, to visualize kind of what level of details look like, if I go to Lit, and if I go down here to Level of Detail, Mesh, LOD Colorization, okay, now when it changes to a lower kind of detail level, it's going to change color. So when it's gray, it's the highest level of detail. But when I zoom out, when it gets far enough from the camera, it changed to something that is less detailed. In this case, it's showing that red is considered less detail. Um, and if I zoom farther out, green is even less detail. And if I zoom way, way out, okay, I can see that blue is even less, you know, I think the lowest detail. Um, and then again, if I get closer, it's automatically going to kind of swap to those higher level of details, okay? Why did they do that? Well, if we look at the entire scene, I can see that stuff in the way background doesn't need a lot of detail. So depending on how close it is to the camera, it's just automatically going to swap to this high resolution element or to a lower resolution element to save on kind of system resources. So let's talk about how to set that up in Maya. But actually before we do that, let's talk about kind of where to get assets like these rocks that actually have LODs already set up, okay? So for that, if we go to a site, um, if we go to quixel.com, and I just went to quixel.com, and then went to Megascans, and if you log in, now this is kind of weird, if you log in over here, and if you log in through Quixel, you have to buy these assets, okay? You have to use points, things like that. But if you log in, there's different ways to log in. And if you log in through Epic Games account, which is free to set up, same with Quixel, it's free to set up. Um, if you log in with Epic Games account, then it's free to download these assets, okay? So it's kind of weird how they have that set up. And I feel like, so I would suggest logging in through Epic Games login. And once you do that, you can look at all this stuff, okay? And you can see that they have, here's some um, different things, and you can see they have it, here's some collections, um, here's some plants, some rocks, uh, some environments, and a whole bunch of stuff. Really, really cool stuff. I'll just go back up here. And I can see that some of this stuff, like if I click on this um, boulder right here, um, if I click on download, if I wanted to see what it's downloading, if I go here, I can see that I'm downloading an FBX, and I can see that I'm downloading level of detail zero, which is the highest level of detail, all the way down to level of, uh, detail eight. So there's actually eight, or actually including level zero, nine level of details for that rock. So it's going to have like extremely detailed geometry to very simple geometry. I can also see that it's giving me albedo, which is the color map, normal, which is basically the bump, displacement, which is actually 3D bump, um, and some other maps as well. 
Now I probably don't need fuzz and translucency and all that stuff, but I'm just going to leave everything like normal. And then if I click on this button, it would actually start to download it. And I've already downloaded it. So if we look here, here it is. This is what it looks like. And I can see that these are the level of details. So zero all the way to, um, in this case, well, zero to five on this rock. And I can see right here. And then I can see that it gives me some different maps of some different kind of resolutions, things like that. So what I did was I imported for this example, I imported LOD zero, three, and five. Okay, so because I feel like these are going to be kind of simple or just kind of barely visible transitions. And I wanted to make the transition more obvious so you can see it working. But realize that it would probably be smart to use all of these because you don't want the viewer to even realize there's a transition happening. So great. All that being said, here's that rock imported into Maya. And it, when you import it, it's all going to go right at the center of the scene. But I just move these over so we can see them. So I can see that this one is LOD 0. And you can see how much, how kind of dense it is geometry wise. This one is LOD 3. I can see here LOD 3. So it's kind of like mid grade detail. And then this one is LOD 5, not meant to be viewed close up, meant to be viewed really far away. And I'll also do this heads up display poly count. I can see that here's my poly count. So this one's only 957 faces. This one's 3,000 faces, and this one's 17,000, or almost 18,000 faces. So it wouldn't make sense to be able to view this one super, super far away uh, because we're not going to see all that detail anyway. I also went ahead and right-clicked and assigned a material to this. And if I press 6, I should be able to see my texture. Make sure that, there we go. And I'm going to turn off the wireframe. So this one has... Uh, the LOD zero texture on and then this one is the next texture and you can see that it, it's hardly kind of noticeable and this one's the simplest texture which um, is still I feel like it's kind of hard to tell which is good but I feel like it's just kind of being optimized for the scene I think it's more obvious to see what's going on if we just use the kind of the default material with a wireframe okay now I'm going to go ahead and put these back to all to the center. Okay, now they're all sitting in the same place. So how do I automatically get it to switch like it was doing in Unreal? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to select them in the correct order from the highest level of detail to the least. So I'm just going to select that one and then I'm going to select that one and that one. Once those all three are selected, now if I had eight level of detail or nine level of detail, I would just do the same process. I would just select them all, uh, but I have to make sure that I select them in the correct order. And then I come up here to edit, level of detail, create LOD group options. And you can see that I can choose screen height percentage or distance. I'm going to choose distance and realize that when you do this, it's based off of the camera that you're looking through. Okay, so if I... Uh, I'm looking through my perspective camera. I'm just going to say, okay, great, let's set up LOD. And when I do that, if I open this up, I can see that the camera, when the camera's super close, and you can see that highlighted here, that it's showing me the closest, highest level of detail. And when I start to zoom out, it swaps. This is mid grade. And then when I zoom up farther out, it, there you go. You can see it swapped again. Once again, I'm setting kind of extremes here because I feel like so you can see a difference. But um, normally you wouldn't see this much difference because think of imagine if they had like eight level of details. Okay. But I feel like so let's say if you were making a movie or something, you could set that up and it would say, hey, this is my rock. And then you don't have to think about how much detail should be shown. It's just based on how close the camera is. And if you wanted to make any adjustments, over here is where you could adjust it. And you could say, hey, I want my LOD 1 to start at a certain distance, and my LOD 2 to start at a certain distance. But I feel like the auto one is pretty good. So hopefully that was helpful. I'll let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you next time.